All right. So, um, to solving, finding the axis symmetry and the vertex for a problem like this, what we're simply going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is um, we need to go and apply our problem. So I've worked through this. There's kind of like three different steps that I gave for you guys to do this. Chris, you're going to want to write this down in case you didn't, if you didn't have it last time, because it's very, very important for you guys to follow this. Sure, absolutely. Um, I am going to go over the homework quiz though next time when I pass them out. But yeah, you get, if you want to use that on that own, that's fine. I'd, I prefer you use it back from your notes in the last class period. Or if you weren't here, obviously just use a you know, sheet of paper that would work. So the first thing we want to do, all right, here's step one. Whenever you guys are given a quadratic, we talked about the quadratic form, Mallory, is always in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So the first thing I want to do is label and determine what are a, b, and c. A equals 6, B equals I don't know, and C equals I don't know. So in this case, you guys can see I only have one term where a quadratic term has 3. So what could B and C be? Well, I can rewrite them with place value of 0x zero plus 0. Could you just put them in as 6x squared plus bx plus c? Well, B and C represent any number. And they actually do evaluate a number, which is 0. Oh, they can't represent right. Zero. So they're going to represent 0, OK? So you have a equals 6, b equals 0, and c equals 0. All right? OK. So then what we're going to do all right, is simply apply the formula. The axis of symmetry was the formula of opposite of b divided by 2 times a. So you take your value of b, opposite of 0, divided by 2 times 6. So therefore, you have opposite of 0 divided by 12. Well, 0 divided by any number is equal to negative 12. OK? Then what we look up over here, I'm sorry, 0. Why did I write negative 12? It's 0. 0 divided by any number is 0. Sorry. So therefore, our axis of symmetry is x equals 0. That means that's the line that's going to split our parabola. Now the next thing we need to look at is the vertex. Now remember, this is the x coordinate of our vertex. So to find the y coordinate, we simply take y equals and we plug in the x value of our, to find our y value. So since the x value in the axis symmetry was 0, we plug in 0 for x and we solve for y, which means y equals 0. Therefore, the vertex is x equals 0, y equals 0. So it's 0, comma, 0. So that's your vertex.